So what are you working on now? Lasers? Space? Coffee. Pardon? The percentage extraction. The percentage of coffee particles actually taken from the dry ground directly correlates with strength. Too high percentage extraction, the coffee is too bitter. Too low, it tastes undeveloped. Equally, there is a fine balance between weak and strong. Therefore, there is a perfect Goldilocks moment in all of this. The best way to get this is around an 18 to 20% extraction with 1.15 to 1.35% of dissolved solids. That's coffee in the cup. Using a water temperature of 195 to 202 degrees, this allows for adequate dissolution and diffusion and doesn't burn your mouth. There are obviously different methods of preparation. Now, there are variables such as milk and sugar. Nicola, I don't care. Then what can I help you with, Ted? There's been a lot of interest in Father's guidance system, Nicola. A lot of people really see the potential of this invention. It's a good thing someone understands. Munitions, defence... They've all offered a lot of money. Anyway, what with that and Father offering me the professorship... Everything's really going from strength to strength with me. I've come to make you an offer, Nicola. You want me to work with you? For me. Father's company can only go so far, but I think with you we can do so much more. Make sure everything there's correct. I'm presenting it tonight and I want to make sure there's no mistakes. Oh, looks like there's been some miscalculating. Bye, Nicola. I'll mention you tonight. In passing. Find you here. I didn't see you at the presentation. Father was pleased. Uh, yes, well, I am working on something at the moment. Excellent. Something we can all get behind. Perpetual motion. What are you talking about? Perpetual motion, a machine that powers itself. Yes, I know what it is. Then why did you ask? Drink whiskey. I'm asking that are you seriously saying that you're trying to create the impossible machine that goes against the first fundamental rule of physics. Yes. Listen, I wouldn't explore the notion if I knew it were impossible. That's the key word here. Look, do you want me to go out and get you a book that says it cannot be done? Because I will. Nobody says this is achievable. Not even parents lie to their kids about it. Take any no-hope, brain-dead, div child running around his house with Lego up his nose. Mummy, can I be an astronaut? Yes, you can. Oh, where does Gandalf live with the pixies and elves in Oz? Oh, can I make perpetual motion? No, you can't, Timmy. Don't be so fucking fake. What 
lots of people have looked into this idea. Look, I don't know what loose wiring in your brain made you so gifted, but it's like a pinball machine, ideas bouncing around, and you need to file this one under bullshit. I don't even know what metaphor you're going with. I'm not the one trying to make two plus two equal five. I spoke to my father earlier this evening. Your lack of progress on anything is irritating him. All of your funding has been cut. No university or company wants to work with some mentalist dreaming up nonsense in a poxy lab. Is that your networking? For all the things I've helped you with, you slime! However, I talked him down. For now. Cheers. Why do you humans think within three dimensions? Believe beyond the machine. Physical laws are a human construct, nothing more. and tell them to buy them! I haven't failed yet. You most certainly have. It's, it's over. I give you a chance and you spit it in my face. All of this work. And for what? An impossibility. Why'd you bother? It makes sense to bother. How's this for bother? I've got two hours to clear out. I'm sorry, Nicola, but it's over.
was great in the past was ridiculed and condemned, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. In the universe there is a core of knowledge, strength and inspiration. <laughs>